Good morning, children. In the last class, we have studied about digestion in stomach. In today's class, we will discuss about digestion in small intestine. This small intestine is a highly coiled tubular structure and it is about 7.5 meter long. It is about 7.5 meter long. It receives a secretions from pancreas, liver and its wall. This wall also secretes some of the enzymes and juices and liver which also secretes some of the chemical and pancreas will also secrete some of the juices. It receives secretions from liver, pancreas and its wall also secretes some of the juices. It receives all these uh, juices and uh, continue the further digestion. Uh, they, those secretions act on different food substances and they help in the further digestion of food components. First, we will discuss about liver. Liver, it is the largest gland in the human body and it is a reddish brown colored gland. It is a reddish brown colored gland and as well as it is the largest gland in the human body. Then why, where it is situated? Uh, you, while drawing you, uh, the human digestive system, you will draw liver also. A uh, liver, it is situated upper part of the abdomen on right side. Abdomen means a stomach region and upper part of the stomach region at the right side it is situated. It secretes a juice uh, that is called as a bile juice. Uh, liver secretes a juice that is called as a bile juice or it is called as a bile. This bile that is secreted by the liver is temporarily stored in a sac like structure, bag like structure that is called as a gallbladder. It is present in the liver. The gallbladder that is that secretes the bile, uh, temporarily store the bile juice secreted by the liver and that should be transported with a help of tube that is called as bile duct. Then that should be, uh, that should be transported or enter into the small intestine. This is the upper part of the small intestine. Next what happened? This receives um, this is bile juice secreted by the uh, liver that helps in the uh, fat digestion. Mainly fat digestion takes place with the help of bile juice or fat digestion starts with the help of bile juice. Bile juice acts on fat molecule and it converts complex fat molecules into simpler fat molecule. That is, that process is called as emulsification of fat. So that's why bile juice helps in the emulsification of fat and it helps in the digestion of fat. Next, we'll discuss about pancreas. Pancreas, it is a cream colored gland. It is a cream colored gland and it is located below the stomach region. It is a stomach and it is below the stomach. You will come across pancreas. That will also secrete juice. That is called as pancreatic juice that will be entered into the upper part of the small intestine. Upper part of the small intestine is called as a duodenum. Here, this small intestine, I told you, a small intestine receives secretion from liver, pancreas and its wall uh, also secretes juices. It means uh, liver will secrete by juice that will enter into small intestine and pancreas will secrete a pancreatic juice that will enter into small intestine and intestinal wall will also secrete uh, some of the juices. All the, this, all these juices will combine here and they act on different food molecules and they convert into simpler form, helps in the digestion. This pancreas secretes a pancreatic juice. 
it acts on all type of food component it acts on of carbohydrate it acts on protein is act it acts on a fat molecule and converts into all these substances food components into simpler substances there are see, different enzymes are present in the pancreatic juice that is pancreatic amylase a lipase and trypsin there are different enzymes they act on different components of food and they convert it into simple form next we will discuss about the small intestine what is secreted by the small intestine that we have to discuss okay i told that pancreatic juice act on carbohydrate proteins and fat now we will discuss about a small intestine in a small intestine you have to remember that very important point in a small intestine complete digestion of all components of food takes place all components of food is completely digested in the small intestine our digestion is completed in the small intestine all the food components are completely digested may be carbohydrate protein fat all are completely digested in the small intestine here what happens this small intestine it secretes juice intestinal juice it contains different enzymes peptidase maltase sucrase of pancreas sorry uh lipase so many enzymes are present they act on different components of food and they convert into simple form that converts uh, first of all they act on carbohydrate that means starch or maltose and they convert it into simple form that is called as a glucose and then pro, uh, glucose is a simple form of carbohydrate and then protein that uh, it uh, uh pancreatic juice sorry intestinal juice acts on protein and convert it into amino acid amino acid is a simple form of protein and then fat is converted into fatty acids and glycerol with the help of intestinal juice in the intestine in the small intestine all the components of food they are converted into their simple form that is carbohydrate into glucose of proteins into amino acid fat into fatty acids and glycerol that is with the help of intestinal juice inner wall of the small intestine they secrete some of the juices that is called as intestinal juice and in the intestine very important process of digestion takes place that is called as absorption i heard you studied about what is the meaning of absorption here what happens undigested food is absorbed uh, by the inner wall of the small intestine uh, it will be passed through a blood vessel that process is called as a uh, uh, absorption see the digested food pass into the blood vessel in the wall of small intestine this is called absorption to absorb uh, different types of food component there will be a finger like outgrowths they are present in the inner wall of the small intestine that is called as a villi that is villi there are thousands of uh, uh, finger like outgrowths they are present in the inner wall of the small intestine that is called as a villi thousands of finger like outgrowths present in the inner wall of the small intestine is called as a villi what is the function of villi then it helps in the absorption of food and it also increase the surface area for absorption now what is the function it helps in the absorption of food and it also helps in the helps the help increase the surface area for absorption of food this is about the villi and its function this helps in the absorption process this absorption process mainly takes place in small intestine and sometimes in the large intestine a little amount of absorption takes place but in the mainly what happen in the small intestine a uh, uh, absorption process takes place that is very important absorption and villi villi and its function very important then what happened 
that absorbed food that absorbed food and digested food that should be transported to organs cell, tissues and cells with the help of blood vessel uh, that is that process is called as a assimilation you heard about that assimilation transportation and circulation of uh, digested food to the organ cell tissues and cells with the help of blood vessels uh, that process is called as assimilation this is the next step in the digestion first ingestion digestion assimilation uh, sorry absorption assimilation okay assimilation uh, uh, what happened in the assimilation in the assimilation uh, digested food digested food is transported and circulated to the organ tissues and cells of the body where one when the uh, food digested food uh, reach the cell they mix with oxygen and they are converted into a uh, carbon dioxide water and they release energy uh, that is process called as uh, respiration takes place when they mix with oxygen and they release energy and some of the components of food they are not digested in the a uh, human body or in the a human body that should be transported to a large intestine means like this i will show that one okay after this small intestine you will come across a large intestine food that is uh, after digestion in the small intestine that is uh, undigested food okay mainly undigested food that should be uh, transported to Uh, what a large intestine this large intestine it is somewhat wide compared to uh, small intestine it is wider than small intestine and it is about 1.5 meter long length of the large intestine is 1.5 meter long and main function of this large intestine is what it absorb it absorb a uh, water and salt from the uh, undigested food if undigested food is having any water or salt again that is that should be reabsorbed with the help of uh, large intestine then that undigested food after this reabsorption undigested food that should be transported to next part of the large intestine that is rectum after large intestine you will come across a uh, rectum and that is that will be in the form of semi solid form and uh, that will be stored as a fecal matter that will be uh, removed time to time with the help of anus anus that help they help to remove the undigested food from the body and that on the removal of fecal matter or removal of undigested food from the body is called as ejection that process is called as ejection ejection means what removal of undigested food from the body time to time or periodically that is called as ejection there is a difference between ingestion and digestion ingestion it is a first step in the digestion uh, nutrition and ejection it is a last step in the uh, nutrition of higher organism or in the human being you know about uh, first uh, first step that is ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection that is the last step in the uh, digestion di digestion or nutrition in the animals okay now you study to starting from mouth up to anus all the uh, process all the, how the digestion takes place in the digestive system all these organs combine to give a digestive system that is starting from mouth to anus it may be divided into you know about alimentary canal and digestive gland all they have help together uh, to digest the food in the body this is about the digestion in human being or nutrition in human being mainly five steps i think you remember that five step ingestion digestion absorption uh, assimilation ejection and you have to remember all the function a uh, stomach uh, how digestion takes place in stomach liver pancreas 
and small intestine large intestine what are the processes that takes place in the large intestine small intestine will i their function all those things you have to remember very important it is okay this is about the digestion in human being or nutrition in human being if you have any doubt you can ask thank you